Hey everybody, I'm meteorologist Haley LaPointe and we want to wish you a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays from my family to yours. And I want to introduce you to my family here. We've got Jim, my husband, Hi. and we have our wonderful new addition here. This is Eleni and she is eight months old. This is of course her first Christmas and we're really excited to be celebrating with her, starting some new traditions and you're really excited about sharing some of your traditions with her too, right? Oh yeah, definitely. First Christmas, so she probably won't remember much of it, but don't <laughs> worry, we'll have it all on camera. So <laughs> it'll be good. So true. <laughs> well, one of the big things um, that we do is we often go visit family and friends yep. um, during the holidays, like many of you do too. And we want to bring something along with us. And a lot of times people ask for a side. So today we're going to show you one of our favorite side dishes because it utilizes squash, which is one of Jim's favorites. And too. one of my favorite favorite things, maple syrup. And it has to be New Hampshire maple syrup. And we've got a oh, whole yeah. bunch of it. We actually have like a whole gallon in our refrigerator right now. And sometimes so. I wonder if that's even enough. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's true. So this one's really easy. You can go to WMUR.com for the recipe. Yes. So we'll get started here. So first right. off, what are the ingredients? Yeah, so what's really nice about this is that when it comes to cooking it in the oven, it's just very easy to do and it's also easy to transport too because you can mix it all up in this bowl and you can just bring the bowl with a lid to whatever gathering you're in and then in the end you just put it in the oven one small spot so uh, it doesn't take up much space to reheat it's about a half hour uh, to finally cook so the ingredients that we have are of course maple syrup right here olive oil about two tablespoons of each then we have cinnamon and nutmeg and then also brown sugar, because I mean, you gotta sweeten it up, right? <laughs> so it's really easy to do. All you have to do is have your bowl and pour in. We really like getting the pre-cut um, squash okay. here because yeah. it just takes a lot of the uh, hard work out of it at the beginning. But so. you can use a real, of course, big butternut squash. You have to, you'd wanna take the skin off and then peel it and then cut it up, but we and get then, a pre-cut. Uh, <laughs> then the easy part, you just pour everything in. So, okay. you mind if I help too? Go for it. All right, so brown Pour sugar, right olive oil. Uh oh, the brown sugar uh -oh. stuck. There, we, there go. we go. So, we've got our nutmeg. Yep. And the and last cinnamon. is the cinnamon. So, look at how easy this is. Yep, so super easy. You mix it all up. And once it's all nicely coated, you just put it right into our tray here and put it in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes. Uh, but you want to make sure before you get to that 20 minute mark that you top it off with our last secret ingredient here, which is pecan halves. So now that that's mm, in, yummy. we're just going to level this out. And then you put your pecan halves on top for the last 10 minutes. And uh, we have a small sample here, Ooh. so we'll give it a whirl. Of course, keeping the baby away from the heat. Exactly. Don't worry, it's not actually on. <laughs> <laughs> but this is what it looks like when it's done. Give it a whirl. All right, let's give it a taste. Mm hmm. Tastes Perfect. good. She'll eat it Delicious. soon. Yep, <laughs> not yet, but soon. Merry Christmas, everybody.